Welcome to another Adafruit wearable electronics project. Today we're using our muscles to send text messages. My special guest is Kate Hartman, who's director of the Social Body Lab at OCAD University and has a lot of experience with electromyography. That's the technical term for sensing the electrical activity of our muscles, also known as EMG. It's really neat to use nonverbal communication like facial expressions as an interface for electronics. Today we're going to be using the muscles that raise our eyebrows to say, so. We're using a MyoWare muscle sensor and a Feather Blue Fruit microcontroller to send a signal through the phone up to Adafruit I.O. and then if this then that, which in this case is triggering an SMS. Let's get started. The sensor outputs a signal that can be read by any analog input pin. We're using silicone coated stranded wire to connect up the power, ground and signal pins. Braiding them can make everything a bit tidier. On the Feather, these wires go to power, ground and analog pin zero. Use the sample code provided in the complete tutorial to program your Feather using the Arduino IDE. The link is in the description. Before we put the sensor on our muscles, let's talk about safety for a second. Anytime you hook up an electrical device to your body, you want to take the proper precautions. So if you're going to power the circuit over USB, you need to use a power isolator like this one. Once you're operating on battery power, the isolator is no longer necessary. Snap the electrodes to the three connectors on the sensor. The one closest to the wires should go at the middle of the muscle that you're sensing. The other one should go towards the end of the muscle. The third electrode at the end of the black wire should go somewhere else uh, away from the muscle that you're sensing. It's fun to experiment with different muscle locations and you can look up anatomy illustrations to figure out which ways the muscles go. Plug in your battery and connect the feather using Adafruit Blue Fruit LE Connect for iOS or Android. Configure your MQTT settings and publish the values to a feed on Adafruit I.O. Create a recipe on if this then that that checks the feed for new values and then performs an action of your choice. I'd like to text Kate, so. Because it's connected to if this then that, the possibilities of what you can accomplish by just raising your eyebrows are endless. We thought of a couple other things you could do with this circuit, like book an appointment with your dermatologist when your Botox wears off or get yourself out of a bad date using a butt dial. Get it? If you don't mind setting up a SIM card and doing a little advanced programming, you can send text messages or make phone calls using the Adafruit Phono. We've got some tutorials about that on the Adafruit Learning System. What kinds of network connected muscle sensing projects could you come up with? Let us know your ideas in a comment below. And thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Kate, for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to the Adafruit channel on YouTube for more wearable electronics projects.